okay let's welcome back part 4 let's quickly get into the configuration in the previous step we have defined all these characteristic values now it's time to define okay class you characteristics you are going to all characteristics what you have defined you are going to assign to this class okay so in this session we will see this one okay so if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe my channel there are different kind of courses available at my end so if you want really get into the real time if you have that seriousness better do this course once you finish the course otherwise if you have a doubts you better do this course 98 hours sbst and i have various set of courses available including idocs so probably you can do it you can subscribe these courses you can utilize as an opportunity to easily get into the real time and try to perform with your power and let's catch up on sap quickly and i have shown you the path again i don't want to show you the transaction code is cl01 before that let's go to ct04 and i would like to see this one like probably like that accessory spot okay let's go to the change i am allowing to do the multiple values okay so probably i can able to take both right so i'm just doing this change and let's try to go to now cl01 okay you can give the class maybe i can give g underscore mobile mobile or iphone i can give anything this class g underscore mobile and give the class type as 300 so it depends on the situation we are going to choose classes so let me show you see if it is batch then you you already seen this at the time of creating material 0 2 and probably you can see this vendor class and customer class customer class also will be there so like that you all these are different things will be there for variants you have to choose this one let's create here okay so g and score mobile okay i'm just giving so just do one thing don't uh, make any changes here so you can do this one so sometimes uh, at the time of creating by default it will it might be in preparation or else locked default settings will be there just keep it as always released if you'd like to use it directly go to the characteristics let's go and try to check what are the what are all the characteristics we have defined actually okay so let me share my screen here so let me take this one first we'll take the model and we'll go on a sequence so probably i can take this i can take remaining anything like this okay so this is the only one thing because on a sequence i need so let's take got some gaps because i directly copied from notepad notepad right let's come here okay so you define till now characteristics that means attributes and properties of the variant different variant materials so let's press enter okay so if it is required then all this so accessories it's not necessary always so i'm just kept like that for your understanding and again that is multiple values let's save this so class you have defined now if you want you can create a material okay so let's go to mm 01 so let me take so this one so this one you have to choose k mat if it is configurable material this is the only difference you have to understand this 
so in this session so like you know you have to choose k mat press enter okay so you can able to choose in the similar way how you can able to choose whatever the tabs you required so let me try to check mp1 this one okay till here this is fine and the more important one you have to choose what is this classification okay if you want you can able to choose costing one and costing two also so let me check okay let's keep it as of now so we don't require any other things so let's try to click so this is my plant and uh, I think you can able to see this. This is my plant and sales organization distribution channel. Existing setup is there. Okay. So G underscore. So let me choose G underscore. V underscore. Ipon spec. I'm just taking. So let's take this piece. See material. Uh, general item category two two is this and let's keep some weight like uh, 199 so let's keep this one in grams okay press enter go ahead so now you have to choose your class okay let's click here so So maybe like um, let's enter. Let's see this. I have forgotten. That's why we have to make a note it down. Could G underscore mobile. This is what I have taken. Okay. Let's press enter. Now see this, how the values came. Okay. So, so model choices, if you want, you can able to choose here. So let's uh, click here. So I'm just choosing both. Okay. And can choose here like this colors so at the time of uh, configuration it will allow you okay speed means your ram okay so, so let's press enter. Now you can able to see all the values you have taken. This is how you can able to create the uh, variant actually. Okay. If you want, you can able to create separate materials also. Sales unit, probably I can choose box. So each box, only one iPhone will be there. So let's try to do the taxes. So account group, I'm choosing the standard. Okay. Item category group. Let me check. Okay, let's keep this one, no issues. If you want, we can come back and we'll change it. So this is the, all the mandatory fields. If you want, you can fill this.
let's save this material now okay if we if we required any other uh, what i would say if we require any other changes we can do it timely being so let's display this let's take this material let me try to copy here okay material number so complex number right who will remember this okay that's why i'm just making note down so let's do one thing so let's try to go back so configurable profile this is actually you know it is going to determine uh, like you know you can able to make your choices on your sales order or purchase order so configurable material so that you know we can able to do it so in next session we'll catch up next part we'll do configurable profile if possible we'll go a little extent you can see this this is very simple you take your attributes as the characteristics and after that test into class and then after that you are going to create a configurable profile okay so the variant configuration which i am exp uh, i mean explaining it will give a guide to get into the real time but it has a lot of complex scenarios when it comes to coding and all that's why so those consultants have separate job in big manufacturing companies and retail companies anyhow it's not a big deal let's catch up in next session so we can able to see in next part the remaining configuration thank you so much uh, jai bharat i wish you all the best that's it thank you